man, it is such an honor to be here with you all this morning. I'm fired up. Once again, my name is Rennie Curran. I'm a former professional athlete, keynote speaker, author, and the CEO of Game Changer Coaching. And I am just honored to just be standing in front of you all, to be connected to this amazing organization for all the work that you all have done. Give yourselves a round of applause, man. Let's, let's act like this is a celebration. I mean, I, I have heard about different organizations. I've worked with the Georgia Family Partnerships, but Cherokee is different because of her. And when she started to explain all the programs and everything and the event and, you know, blah, 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 and I, I was like, all right, I'm in. <laughs> Don't say anything else, I'm in, let's go. She got me fired up. And, and for me, being able to stand on this stage is such a blessing. Because Today I we got to celebrate 20 years of serving our community at Cherokee Focus, and we were so excited to bring Rennie in to speak to our group. They work hard, they're community leaders, they are out there on the front lines doing things for our community, and Rennie had just the message to get across to keep us going for the next year. So we hope to have him back again and again to keep our community enthused and working together um, as a team. And so as I was putting together this program and I was thinking about what to talk about, one thing came to mind was one team, one dream. Everybody say one team, one dream. One team, one dream. Yes, as a former athlete, I think about just the concept of a team, a concept of different groups of people coming together from different walks of life, different beliefs, different aspirations, right? All coming together for one goal, one mission, one vision, all believing in the same thing, right? Trying to accomplish a goal together. And then I thought about the tagline that Sonia mentioned of people, partnerships, possibilities. It's amazing when you have a team that comes together, the types of things that happen, when you get the right people in the room, right? When you form the right partnerships and how that creates endless possibilities. And I believe that everybody in this room right now, as I look around, you guys look great by the way. Everybody is in this room for a reason, right? The Lord puts you all here for a reason. And I heard that this place that we're in right now is a church and I believe we're in sacred ground. And I believe that everything that is said here today, everything that is spoken is gonna plant a seed that is gonna lead to continued change. Cause you guys are already doing the work. Well, this is the uh, celebration of 20 years of Cherokee Focus for all the good work that Sonia and her group has done throughout the community and connecting community partners to address so many of the issues that are uh, facing our youth and our teens uh, and our school age kids and the homeless problem that we've got. In terms of how Rennie did, Rennie's amazing. Um, obviously, he's a George Bulldog. I love hearing from him. But the inspiration he gave uh, about how to organize ourselves, how to stay connected, how to look out and find the problems, and then look inside to find the solutions in ourselves to make a difference, absolutely unparalleled. And we're glad to have him. Win the game before the game. Every great team, every great organization, every great leader, every great high performer knows that there's a game, there's the things that everybody sees, there's the things that happen before, you know, during the meetings, during these events. And then there's what happens before. And as an athlete, as a leader, we knew how great our season was, was gonna be based off our off season, based off our, our week of practice, based off how we trained, how we built that camaraderie when nobody was there. And so as you approach this organization and continue to do the work, what does winning the game before the game mean? It means establishing a winning routine. So before you get to that meeting, before you have these events, before you get to your job and your workplace, how are you preparing? When you go home, what are the things that you're doing to set yourself apart? Next thing is perfecting your craft. Just thinking about all the different things that go into making you who you are, making your organization tick, taking you to the next level. Are you perfecting your craft and looking for little ways to continue improving day in and day out? Understanding your opponent. Now for me as a linebacker, I studied the quarterback, I studied the running back, I studied their tendencies, I studied their body language to give me that step ahead. Your opponent may be that person you're trying to serve, may be that person you're trying to reach or market to, that person you're trying to sell, sell to. Do you understand their psychology? Do you understand what their goals and aspirations are? So understand your opponent. Last thing is being a student of the game. Being a student of the game. So that means after that performance, after that meeting, after that event, taking that time to reflect, to look back, to get feedback, to study the gurus. There's always a way that you can improve. What a great event it was, uh, a celebration of 20 years of great work by Cherokee Focus. So many people pulled together who have been pulled together over the last 20 years by, by Sonia, Sonia Crothers. Rennie was fantastic. I'm going to get the book. I'm going to remember those key points. You know, depend on your team. 
you know, find what motivates you. It's great stuff. I remember him from, from the football days, uh, but how he's gone beyond football and into something so much bigger, really, so much bigger than football and so much better, ultimately, that he can inspire people like the people in this room to keep doing and do even more of the great things they are doing. Thanks, Remy, for being here today. Celebrate the wins. I know we're here to celebrate right now, but don't let this be the only time that you decide to celebrate the wins and the accomplishments and the goals and everything that you're doing. Is what is celebrating the win does, it builds that confidence and momentum. So as you celebrate people, as you encourage them, as you build them up, it just builds that just feeling of just positivity. You wanna create that culture of positivity where you're, it's normal to celebrate each other. It's normal to recognize each other. Next thing is it helps you avoid that burnout. And we all face that, right? We all face those feelings where, man, I'm putting this work, I'm putting this effort, I'm making the calls, I'm doing this, but I, I just don't feel like it's amounting to anything. But celebrating, when you encourage somebody, when you tell them, man, hey, I see you, I see what you're doing, you're doing a great job, keep it up, keep fighting, that might be that one word that they need to keep moving forward, right? That, that might be just that spark of inspiration that they need to make one more call, to, make, to do one more meeting, just do one more bit of effort that changes everything. The next thing is it reminds you to focus on the details. It reminds you to focus on the details. So as you recognize that person for those little small things that they do, not waiting to that big accomplishment, but they're gonna focus on those small little details. If you say, great job, man, you're so amazing at sending emails, you're so amazing at making those calls, guess what? That positive accountability is gonna reinforce that positive performance. So it helps you to focus on the details. And last thing, it helps you to focus on the process rather than the outcomes. We all know that we're in an outcome-driven world, that it's all about the numbers, all about the end goal. But the main thing to realize is that the process is just as important, right? The winning comes through those small little details. Cherokee Focus 20-year celebration so went really well. We were so happy to have Rennie here and to share with us all his experience and his life story. Um, it was very inspirational and taught me a lot about how to work as a team and how to reach out to others. Um, he was very inspirational in his thoughts and his uh, the experiences that he has shared with us and the people that has touched his life. And uh, I'm really glad to be a part of this and be able to be here today to hear him talk. So. Good morning, I'm Trey Ragsdale, and I'm the past media past chair of Cherokee Focus. And we had Randy come out to speak today to celebrate our 20 years of service here in Cherokee County for our families and kids. And he did an incredible job of inspiring and laying the foundation and the platform of how to be successful as a team. It takes everyone in the community to step in, to understand what they're blessed with, and then work together be a successful community and I, I think he really tapped into that in Cherokee County and it was great to have him be celebrate our 20th year and he's gonna be a good luck charm for the dogs as they go for the national championship this year. What's going on everybody Rennie Kern here I'm here in Cherokee County with Cherokee Focus just got done with my keynote it was an amazing amazing event and Sonia did an amazing job the executive director she invited me out and I had the opportunity to just share with all the different community leaders the partners the different organizations and groups uh, just about the importance of really focusing on one team, having one dream, everybody coming together, focusing on partnerships, focusing on leveraging each other, making sure that they are mindful of the wins, right? Rewarding themselves, making sure that they have the right routines, all, doing all the things necessary to continue pushing forward, uh, keeping that vision, the hope alive, overcoming burnout, and uh, it, it was well received, man. Love being a part of this organization uh, for today. Looking forward to being a teammate with them for life. And uh, it was just so powerful because I'm a beneficiary of, of groups like this, organizations like this that point to others, that speak life, that provide resources for the most vulnerable people, for the underdogs, for the youth, for the families who are struggling. That's, that's where I come from. So it was just special to be a part of this. It was a, a true honor to be able to share with this organization. And I look forward to partnering with them again uh, in the future, moving forward. So that's it.